Okay. I suppose we can get started here. Yo, we are home. Shout us to home. So how are you guys doing today? Also, we're not going over the rules this time. If you don't know the rules by now, just watch one of the previous streams. Or highlights, whatever. You got a Flareon Build-A-Bear. That's fantastic. I love Flareon. Day five of soft foods. Whew. You miss Taco Bell. Taco Bell's pretty soft. Just get a soft taco with the ground beef, because you can just swallow that too. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go for the post game. I was not reading the conversation. Oh no. That's unfortunate, Perk. Sorry to hear that, bro. Wait, does that mean I'm not supposed to leave? For all of Indiana, then I suppose I'll uh, have to stay here at my home. Where am I supposed to go? I think I go to the, the slumbering wheel, actually. Oh, it goes into effect tomorrow. So, does that mean, I don't know, does that mean I'm supposed to not be able to get Taco Bell now? Like, will they be, will they be open? I like Taco Bell. Ah, no. No Taco, they're closing everything? Why can't I go to Taco Bell? Hey, what's going on, Neo? Is Taco Bell going to be open? No! Nightbot, no. We're fixing that now. Can somebody untime out Vivian while I fix Nightbot? Disable. Disable. Okay. There we go. You should be able to post links now. Restaurants will still be open for delivery, apparently. Okay. So I can DoorDash Taco Bell to me. 
perfect. I didn't go this way before. What's that? Oh, a life orb! That's nice. What if I had just tricked you and <laughs> there was. <laughs> I didn't fix Nightbot? It just timed you out again. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. No. Make them all way downtown. Barbers are closed. Oh no. My hair's okay right now. What item do we want to give him? We can give him the life orb. He can probably one-shot everything now with the life orb. Sure, we'll do it. Alright, watch us lose this. I forgot this... Uh, Post game started out with a hot plate. I don't even remember what my move set is right now. I kept payback. Okay. Um. I guess just liquidation this. Yo, let's go, Quillfish. This life orb might be a bad idea, by the way. Because if he ends up hitting me, and I have to take 50% of my health from life orb damage, could turn out poorly. But I think we might just sweep him. Okay, Life Orb is working really well. I forgot how overleveled we were from eating all those EXP candies to actually be able to beat Leon. But, uh... Hey! It's your boy! Neo, it's your boy Cramorant! Cramorant's dead, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the king is pretty OP. Uh... Especially with a life orb. Definitely is just bodying everything. For those of you who are not aware, life orb boosts your attacks by 30%. So, we're probably already doing almost all their HP in one hit, and now we just added a 30% onto that. Thanks. Professor Sonia.
We got Sonya's book. I'll go put the sword back. I suppose it's the right thing to do, right? Perfect. Put everything back. Now, nothing can go wrong. That's the end of the post game. Oh no! Who are these strange people? Why is one's hair a sword and one's hair a shield? <laughs> It's the social media influencer. <laughs> Carmen is freaking out about the hair. That's good. Got Sword Lord and Shilbert. I love that it plays the collected item music for those two. Carmen, did you play the post game? Do I get healed in between battles? I do not! Uh, I have to one-shot everything here, otherwise I just lose. Alright. And I might still lose, I'm not sure. This was a very poor decision to use this. <laughs> oh no! If that has first impre if it uses first impression, I lose too. Or sucker punch. All right, so we lost. <laughs> oh, oh, we didn't even kill it. Oh no. <laughs> Okay. Mad Shadow, you didn't see that. It's just a dream. The game broke. Look. What's up, bro? Alright, we're just gonna... We're going to put that away. We don't need a life orb. Go back to the muscle band. Play it safe. We'll be okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we had a life orb equipped, and it made us do so much damage to ourselves that when... Uh, a Glissopod used Sucker Punch, which did, you know, like 20 damage, not percent, 20 damage. Uh, we could no longer fight 10 Pokemon while using a Life Orb that takes 10% of our health every time we hit something. Oh! 
Big ol' wing. Not there. This way. No, 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 this way. It's hard to see. It's foggy. Yeah, we're not going to make that mistake again. Oh, it just puts you back to this point. Got it. So we have to go through that whole cutscene again? Yup. I had no idea what happened if you lost there. Again, love that they have the music playing for picking up an item. Okay. Attempt number two, this time with full health and not a life orb. Let's see if we still one hit one hit KO this with uh, liquidation. We do. Life orb did not matter against Surfetched. I still don't know that thing's base stats. Never looked at them. Love Bisharp. Yep, that's dead too. Oh, that was a crit. Doesn't count. Alright, this thing we couldn't one shot with a life orb. Yep, look at this. Look how little that sucker punch does, but we had to fight 10 Pokemon in a row without healing. Or, we attempted to fight 10 Pokemon in a row without healing. Yeah, you do fight the other bo other brother. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you do. Bro, why you got a hone or a, a dublade instead of an Aegislash? slash? I played shield. I don't remember. Oh, he's done faffing now. I don't remember fighting a Glissopod in uh, Shield, and I'm pretty sure he had a Kling Kling, so I'm pretty sure that it was the other brother. Homie gave me $400 for winning. I gave him $10,000 when he beat me. Uh... Okay. They, uh... They're talking about how we killed Eternatus. And think that we're bad people. They are. Influ all influencers are. Every streamer ever. Greedy. YouTubers too. And Twitter posters. 
Oh, oh. That's wrong hand. I... All... Why is this so hard for me? All Twitter posters. Dude, what if you're all three? It happens. <laughs> Classic influencers. Exactly. Also, if you guys aren't aware, above me, there's a sub goal. Uh, <laughs> no, but for real, uh, if I get 15 subs, that means I get an extra emote slot. And I'll also be doing a Nuzlocke run of a Pokemon game of your choosing between 3rd and 4th gen. Probably Sapphire or Diamond is what I intended, but I could be convinced, probably. And if I get a schedule going, uh, I'm hoping uh, that it would be for um, Mondays to be a Pokemon day, so it would be Pokemon Days. And then every Monday I would do a Pokemon thing, and we would be able to do the sub goal there. I was thinking Heart Gold, Soul Silver, but Heart Gold, Soul Silver are very. What did I just do? Oh. Heart Gold, Soul Silver is very um, long, with all of the like the both regions plus silver thing. Not plus a Mount Silver, Reds on top of Mount Silver. Uh, Carmen, my idea for uh, an emote. You know how I always make those really bad jokes, um, and then I raise my knee up in the camera and slap it. I want a knee slapper emote. It's really hard. Okay, I want it to be bigger too, and I'm glad you are pointing it out to me that it's too small. I can't get it to be bigger without it overflowing the box. And I don't know what to do about it. I can try different fonts. We'll do it uh, probably towards the end of stream here. And I'll let you guys tell me what you think. So, uh, there's a lot of Dynamax Pokemon. And they're in, they've popped up at all of the stadiums, causing a ruckus, and we need to go stop them. That's what's going on in the game right now. Also, if you guys have suggestions for fonts that would fit in there better so that they're not as they're like thinner fonts or something so that I can have a bigger size uh, I'm open to your suggestions <laughs> alright this battle should be pretty easy you can just hit it
We're getting it. We almost got her. Hop sucks. Pierce sucks too. If you guys let it attack. Now Pierce is dead. You guys see what you did? Useless imbeciles. Bro. Have you guys seen any people more useless than these guys? Did you see how much damage I did on my first hit? And then all they did was hit it with weak attacks. They didn't kill it. It's just not fair to me. You know? I'm wondering if uh, we might be able to finish the post game in today's stream, honestly. Definitely can. What's up, Dreams? How you doing, bro? How's your self-quarantine going? Also, chat... How have you guys been enjoying Animal Crossing? Trying to get the essay and homework going? Cool. Dude, I also really want to play Animal Crossing again, <laughs> like more. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Animal Crossing so far. Uh, yeah, the museum is very, very beautiful. You've been really enjoying Mystery Dungeon, Carmen? I'm also playing Mystery Dungeon. There's so many games to play. Like, I want to finish this, of course, because uh, I wanted to get this done for the stream. But uh, Animal Crossing has been great. I played it with my fiance while she was here uh, all this weekend. And uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is great. I just got to the point where um, Gengar overhears a conversation with Zatu. And right after that, I don't want to spoil anything, so that's like pretty unspoiling. Oh yeah, Viv, I'm sorry. That's something uh, pretty awful for you to worry about that kind of thing. Uh, it, I mean, I guess it sucks to worry about that kind of thing. So, I'm sorry to hear that. It's not my first time playing Mystery Dungeon games. Uh, I played the original 
red and blue rescue teams and uh, time and darkness but definitely still uh, some people in the chat haven't played it and I'm very much enjoying the parts that I have played because I, I don't remember the original games very much I don't know what United Arts and Education does. Explorers of Sky is just better time and darkness. School supply store for teachers. Okay. So far, Mad Shadow, I think that uh, the Time and Darkness games might be... I forgot the Dynamax. Oops. Uh, Time and Darkness might be uh, better games, I guess? But... I don't know. I'm enjoying this one still. And we'll see how far it goes. I definitely didn't like the post-game of Time and Darkness nearly as much as I wanted to. It seemed very, very grindy. Uh, and like it kept putting stops in your way of being able to do everything you wanted. Laundry calls. I feel that. Okay. That's very fair. There's a lot of games that I have that are like... Yeah, that's a better game, but I enjoy this one more. I have no idea if we got hit in that last fight. I was not paying attention to the game. Gotcha. I still like Thousand Year Door more, but let me see if I can think of one that I enjoy the game more. Um... I like Spyro 1 more than Spyro 2. Uh, and I think Spyro 2 is probably better again. Colosseum vs. Gale of Darkness. I don't remember well enough to say, but I think I liked Gale of Darkness more, but I don't know which one's a better game. I have this really bad problem where I don't remember games very well, hardly ever. Like I have to play through them a couple times to have a good memory of them. Yeah Viv, you should play Thousand Year Door, it's a good time. Fun fact, I've never beaten Thousand Year Door. I got to the end once and then just like, ran out of time to play games. I got stuck at one point and didn't figure it out and I was like, I want to play a different game. And then I never came back to it and then I ran out of time to play games. So, I should actually go and beat that game sometime. Wrestling chicken guy. I love Rockhawk. Yeah, I was pretty young at the time still. Definitely like early teens. Uh, when I got stuck in 
Oh, I don't remember the name of the area. There's some, the the bob -omb place. <laughs> we were trying to get the cannon to the moon. Couldn't figure it out. Meanwhile, Paper Mario 64 is one of the first games that I ever beat. I had some help because I was a young kid, but like, I did beat it. Hey, don't you dare question Rockhawk. <laughs> Next thing you're going to tell me is that you have a problem with his brother, Mike Oxlong. Oh no! The dudes! They're here! They want some wishing stars. They want to tell you that the dogs are bad. They're bad dogs. But they're actually good dogs. Though we actually did have quite a few games. Super Paper Mario, at the time, I thought it was a terrible game, because it wasn't like the rest of them, but uh, looking back on it, I think it's a good game, it's just a weird Paper Mario game. First gaming accomplishments were beating DDD and Kirby Superstar. Okay. Uh, in Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. I beat DDD, but was unable... Oh, jeez, that did so much damage. I was unable to beat whatever nightmare thing is that uh, exists past DDD, so I made it to the very final boss of Nightmare in Dreamland as, like, a seven-year-old. But I could never beat it. At some point, I should really do that. I have a Game Boy player on, a, on my GameCube, so I could definitely actually go back and play um, Nightmare in Dreamland and have that be on stream if you guys wanted to see that sometime. Yeah, Paper, Super Paper Mario's plot is very good too. I, I still think that uh, wow they killed that double with one HP oh is Dreamland better than Nightmare in Dreamland I still think Super Paper Mario is not a Paper Mario game it is a good game that's not a Paper Mario game It was a scuffed remake. How so? Also, the only Kirby game that I ever beat was uh, the one on the Switch, Star Allies. Me and my fiance played that together. If you guys... This is just for my own personal gain here. Uh, if you have any suggestions for good, like, easy co-op games, uh... I would I would like your suggestions because uh, Marshmallow and I have played quite a few at this point uh, of the Yoshi games, and we played uh, Mario 3D World. We played Kirby Star Allies, and there might have been something else in there, but mostly. Uh, mostly easy stuff. She's not a hardcore gamer by any means. Is Overcooked... Does it have, like, a story mode? Or is it just, like, a, a play the game together? I'm gonna read what Vivian said here. Uh... 
Kirby Superstar. Oh, most pa Paper Mario games aren't Paper Mario games. I see what you're saying, but disagree with the way that you said it. Just because uh, the leading game tells you what the franchise is supposed to be. So Paper Mario 64, if that was going to be more of those the games, then you should expect those to be more of the same type of game. Like, the only one that doesn't really work with is Mario, and even then you can say that the Super Mario games are the platformers, and the Mario games are not the, are the spin-offs. Dreams Return to Dreamland was on uh, the Wii, right? Vivian Little Big Planet would be a great one, but I don't own a PS3. I only have a PS4. Okay, I got you guys with uh, what Overcooked is like. I heard that was a a good like indie game overall. Tales of Vesperia, that's a long RPG, right? I've played a Tales game co-op before. Oh no! We were supposed to talk to her. Oops. She could play as the hat in Mario Odyssey. That seemed... You know, like... When you can tell certain games were made to play, be played co-op and certain games were made to be played single player. That one definitely felt like a... This game is supposed to be single player. And then some higher up was like, make a co-op mode. And they were like, well, I guess we're making the hat co-op. I've not played Borderlands. Uh, I've watched my roommate play through all three of them, though, <laughs> more than once. He is a large fan of those games, to say the least. <laughs> Your little brother has to play as the Luma in Mario Galaxy? That's not even what they play as in Mario Galaxy. They just have a pointer on the screen. Yeah, what Viv said. Oh really, Captain Toad is that way too? Yeah, the Borderland games seem like fun to me. Unfortunately, I don't think it would be her cup of tea. She's very much... She was brought up on Disney, and very rarely is into things that are more shooty, I guess. Uh, more serious... I, mean, I know Borderlands is very, like, not serious, but, like, not into realism at all. That Borderlands is more realistic, in a way. I think you know what I'm trying to say. I barely, I, I can't get out exactly what I mean. I have heard of Snipper Clips. Pikmin 2 is co-op, isn't it? I forgot about that. Or is it co-op? Yeah, she's more into car cartoony kind of stuff. Uh, also, Borderlands might be too hard for her. One of my favorite uh, oddball games, like Sniffer Clips, is Box Boy and the Box Boy series. I've played all four games. Uh, and I, I tried to get her into playing the co-op of Box Boy and Box Girl. 
Uh, but she was not a huge fan of it because it wasn't action -y enough for her, I guess. She's very picky, is my point. Whereas most of us are very not picky <laughs> about... I mean, we have our, our favorites, but like, we enjoy a lot of games. She's very into stuff. Super Mario Mo Super Monkey Ball minigames is very good. Stardew Valley would be good. Uh, Carmen, somebody did say Little Big Planet, but I don't own a PS3. Yeah, it's pretty sad. <laughs> I really should have had a PS3. I'm still hoping I'll be able to get the PS5. Even if it's not immediately. Oh, the, the new soup games would be great. I didn't even think about those. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, my cousin had a little big planet. They were definitely fun games to play as a kid. I love how we're all coming together here to think of think of games. This is great. Also, if you guys are looking get for games to play co-op with people ever, uh, oh, I forgot I have to fight Bead first here. Uh, the Yoshi's Woolly World and Yoshi's Crafted World games for Wii U and Switch, uh, respectively, are very fun. Very much loved those games. <laughs> With knuckles and a side of fries. Yes. I am very uh, interested in actually getting that game. Uh... I never... I owned New Super Mario Bros. U and never played it. Because uh, I, I got it for free with uh, when Nintendo... I forget what the service was called. It was whatever thing... Club Nintendo, that's it. When it went out, they were like, for all of our members who have been longtime members, we're going to be giving out games based on whatever. And... Uh, I had enough points to get that game. So, I had New Super Mario Bros. U, never played it. Never had New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Did not have New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3D, or the DS, or 3DS, whatever it was. But I did play the first one, and I loved the first New Super Mario Bros. So, probably eventually I'll play New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And I know this is a dumb statement since we're talking about Nintendo games, but maybe I'll wait for it to drop in price from $60 down to something else. Gotcha, Neo. I doubt that she would want to play as one of the beginners, because she's, uh... She's like that. and You know the type, where they're, they're hard-headed and just want to do the... The harder thing, even if it's not hard, they want to do it at the hard level. But uh, maybe she would like to play as one of the easier characters. Hey, we did it! We beat Bead, who for some reason wanted to hold us up. Oh yeah, I bought. <laughs> so I wasn't supposed to get Animal Crossing until Tuesday. Uh, and I was just going to let that slide, because uh, I ordered it on Amazon, and Amazon is holding back orders that aren't essential by any means. And uh, then they emailed me again, and they were like, also your order, instead of being on Tuesday, is delayed indefinitely. Uh, so I went to Walmart and found it.
That is a, a great idea, Neo. Bead is awful, yeah. Alright, Neo. I'll catch you later, man. I might still be streaming when you get back if, you, if you're planning on coming back. So, maybe I'll see you then. Walmart's where you got Mr. Dungeon. I ordered Mr. Dungeon on Amazon, but yes, it's a good idea to get games at Walmart, I think. Did I even get hit in that fight? No, I'm fine. Oh, and this is a rock gym, not an ice gym in this game. This should be pretty easy to beat. Yo, what's up, Rocky? Gordy, that's what I meant. Animal Crossing so good. Love that game. You know what else I love? Shiny Gigalith. This isn't a shiny, of course, but that's such a good looking Pokemon. Shiny has blue instead of red. Oh yeah, Dreams? What's your point? Like, your main point of the essay? That's a very interesting topic. <laughs> Viv, I think you're playing the wrong game. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's very dead. King OP. By the way, we're using the Master Ball on uh, Zacian. Fuse Animal Crossing and Terraria and I'm all set. Good plan. Those are both uh, great games. I don't think it's in the new Animal Crossing, but I would really like it if the scuba diving thing was back. I very much enjoyed that. Somebody, if you know if scuba diving's back, let me know. Oh, okay. I got you, Dreams. What class is that for? Guys, it's our mortal enemy, Haxorus. He killed like four... <laughs> he killed us like four times in the champion fight. Okay, that seems like a, a pretty good assignment there. Hoard the Quesaritos. I'm coming to your house, dude. Okay. Oh no! Are we dead? We're very alive. 
This Haxorus is not strong. Well, Taco Bell does, like, mass orders for people that have, like, 20 people or whatever. Like, you can get the large taco boxes and stuff, so... If they're still delivering, I don't think they'd clean out their whole stock. But it's also Taco Bell, where I've been there, and they literally told- this is a true story. I went to a Taco Bell one time, they said, Hey, if we need to cook anything else, we're not going to be able to because we don't have any water and our stoves are broken, so there's no heat. Uh, and it just happened, so you can have whatever we have. <laughs> and that's it. So we don't have steak or chicken or tortillas. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> I was like, I'm out. Dreams, that sounds like a problem. You should go today. I have no idea what the game just told me to do. Oh, I gotta go to the power plant. What up, girl? Yo, get him, Yamper! Zap! Let's go. Me too, Vivian. I totally agree. Excuse me. I used to say, Taco Bell is awful. What a terrible chain. Why would anybody go there? And then I went there, and I was like, I gotta go back here. This is great. Like, <laughs> Oh, I just had a cold chill because I have an itch in my ear. Oh, that probably looked real funny. I don't remember who I have to fight here. We're saving. Cannot ride my bicycle here. <laughs> Not worthy of eating real Mexican food. That's fair. Oh, they are booing Sonya. Rip Sonya. Yo, Grubhub's giving out free delivery to Taco Bell? This is fantastic. My day is made. Alright, round two with Swordward. I can't believe we lost to Swordward the first time, because we had this stupid life orb. So, if, uh... If you guys are able to if you guys have jobs and are working from home how is that going for you guys i don't know if any of you guys are uh, able to work from home i know mad shadow said that uh, he was not able to and i'm pretty sure carmen and perk both said that they weren't able to you can vivian have have you started that i assume you started that i didn't know you were a programmer i was wondering what you did Nothing has changed for you. That's fair. Nothing 
very much changed for me either. Except now I'm able to work from home and it's just easier to do it here. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that match, Shadow. You just started at the company, so what you're doing is a question mark. That's fair. Hey, I've been at my job for like six months, just over six months, and everything is still a question mark for me too, so. Crit. That's gross. Gonna have to heal after this fight. Oh, we didn't even level up. Potion. Perfect. I feel less stressed working at home, though. It's very much, uh... I'm, I'm, when I'm at work, I'm always worried about somebody behind me because of where my... how my office is set up. Like, there's three doors in my office because I'm, I'm in like a central office that has several people in it. And I'm facing towards a corner. So th it's from three different directions people can be behind me and all the doors are loud. So like, it scares me when somebody comes through too. Well, yeah, a hole in your jaw, that is stressful. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, well, I'm glad the, the surgery went well, but sorry that you had to have the surgery. Why am I not fighting Zacian? Can I catch this? No. That's why I'm not fighting Zacian. I forgot this was a fight that I had to do. This thing is strong. I'm glad I got that poison first try. That's going to be very helpful. Also, it's faster than me. That's pretty scary. This track is so weird to me. Like, I like it, and I don't like it at the same time. I don't know how I can, like, explain it. Well, it kind of gives me creeps sometimes. I really hope I'm supposed to kill that. We did it. We're level 89. That boy barked. Yo, Zacian's here. Let's go. Can I catch him now? Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch 
Oh yeah, that bass line is sick. He stared into my eyes. We're basically married now. We're gonna get him, guys. Not even gonna save. We got him. Let's go. Poggers. Can I get a Poggers in the chat? This is to match my uh, Zamazenta on my sword game. I'll put this in my Pokemon Home later. Now, I hope I don't have to fight anything post-catching him. I think I can just transfer him to my, my box. Pierce is taking him away. Let's go. Alright. Let's go ahead and put our sword doggo away. And we should be able to fly off the top of this building, right? Hop is waiting for us. We're going to go heal. And I think that's the final battle. This is a very short post game. So after that... Hey, what's going on, Spencer? How's life treating you, bro? Yes, Sonya the teleporter. Let's go. Um, we're going to go ahead and save here. I don't know if this fight is going to be possible at this level. To be honest. Life's difficult? I'm sorry to hear that. What's going on? You don't like living in your home and never leaving it. Okay. You're still enjoying California, though, right? You are there now still, right? I didn't miss anything.
how long have you been cooped up in your house or your apartment or whatever? Like, how many days have you been without going out? Yeah, I was just asking where, because, like, you, uh, I didn't know if you were there or if you were, like, here with family and, like, could do anything with them or whatever. Alright, we're going to save now, now that we have gotten past all the cutscene, and we're going to try to fight Hop again. Good luck, Vivian. A week and a half. Okay. I'm on my first day of not leaving the house. I don't know how this fight's gonna go. That's so high, bro. I don't know if you saw the tweet. Are you in my Discord, Spencer? Here. There you go. Uh, but I just bought a home as of Friday. And my mortgage payment is going to be like eight twelve a month. That hurts. Uh, I was hoping that I could kill this Snorlax in one hit. Yeah, we... We have officially bought the house. Don't have another one. Please kill. This should win us the fight. I'll be moving in within the next two weeks. We're, we got some plans for... Uh, her dad is going to help us move with the truck on this weekend. And I think I'll be able to move in by next weekend. At the latest. Okay. We have plus three attack. Yeah. Fortunately, there's only... Like two months of rent that I have to pay that I'm not going to actually be living here. Uh, and utilities are going to suck still, but we're, we're going to make it through there. And plus it's two incomes working on the house too, so it's like not nearly as bad as just one income on an apartment, you know? Oh yeah, random stuff is going to be a bit expensive. Uh, a lot of the furniture... We got really lucky. Her mom... Her grandma is moving in with her parents. And they don't need... Yo, know, thanks Vivian for the bit. Uh, because they don't need uh, most of their furniture since they're moving in together, we're getting a lot of their furniture. And yeah, lots of one-time purchases. We're working on a lot of those. The big one right now is a mat a queen-size mattress. Yo, <laughs> Spencer, thanks for the bit. Guys, just so you know, this is like the last Pokemon. Like, if we kill this in one hit like I expect to, uh, this is the end of the, the whole game here. Four. Please kill. We're plus three. Did not kill. Are we dead? Did he just kill us? Oh. Wait. We were faster? Why wasn't I faster when I fought it the first time? We did it! We have beaten the post game. I'd like to thank my mom, my fiance, the academy, 
Coca-Cola. The king is the king. It's not over till you grind the fish to level 100. You know what? Just for you, Vivian, I will grind him to level 100. Yo, thanks on the, the congrats for world record. <laughs> Hop's gonna be a professor assistant now. This is a great time. We had a great... This is a good game. Very big fan of this game. The boys are even here to clap for us. <laughs> Yo! Shoutouts to Bernie Sanders for being a sub to me. How long did it take? Uh, it's been about... Well, I guess I can check the save to see... Uh, for all seriousness, Vivian, thank you for <laughs> gifting a sub to Bernie Sanders. Uh, yeah, I'll check the, the save to see how long it took after this. He's rarely in my chat. <laughs> He truly is a lurker. I think he's just having trouble typing on the keyboard. To be honest. Ow. Alright, we won't be doing the battle tower. That's just like a lot of grind. And you would probably need more than just a quillfish. Still sulking after losing the primaries. Fair. If you were a Bernie supporter, uh, then that's a very sad time. Like, the whole process has just been sad for you. When will Bernie be on the over... Oh, he's there now, yeah. Okay. Time taken, 12 hours and 33 minutes. Uh, it's probably closer to 13 hours just because of like a couple of reset times But it might even be closer to 12 just because there were times where I just sat here for a minute All right for Vivian now we are grinding to level 100 Which should not take very long uh for those of you who don't know, grinding to level 100 has never been easier. Uh, these raid battles can get you a bunch of candies. Uh, and the candies will help you level up very quickly. For you and Bernie, yes. This is the only geyser or uh, power den right now. Can I kill this? I should be able to kill this, right? Oh, I should have gave myself Max Knuckle with the TM. We got a pretty good team here. I think we should be able to do this. Unfortunately, our first attack is going to do half the damage it normally would do, thanks to the drought. But if we can break him down to his barrier with this hit anyways, it'll be okay.
I don't know if that's barrier or not. I hope so. If that's not barrier, that's sad. Yeah, <laughs> big fish. Oh, I forgot to give him his crown back. Somebody remind me at the end of this fight to give him the king's rock back. Which for him is just rock, because as we know, he is the king. So the king's rock is going to just be rock for the king. If you didn't follow that, rewind. Try again. Maybe I shouldn't use Max Geyser. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't think our sub count updated properly, actually. It still says 9 out of 15. I wonder how long that takes to update. Yo, let's go Salazzle, getting that poison. Let's go Snorlax living. I do enjoy a good living Pokemon. Goodbye, Slazzle. Pokemon Channel Nuzlocke. No, it had Shed Skin. Unfortunate. I guess I can max Ooze to raise my Torkoal's special attack here. Not going to help much, but it might be the decider, I guess. And he also might clear the stat changes because of it. Yep, there it is. That wastes the turn of his. Yeah, a diamond Nuzlocke would be pretty good. I couldn't decide between Sapphire and Diamond, so I was going to have you guys pick. We're grinding to level 100 now. It should take us about three or four raid battles, to be honest. Oh, you did one before? How'd it go? Yes, please hit me. I would much prefer to get hit than my partners, because I can actually not die when it hits me. Okay, I'm going to need all three of us to hit this, and then have one more turn. He has to kill two things in order for me to not have one more turn. Oh yeah? Which which fights are those, would you say? Don't die. Thank you. You killed your starter. Oh no. Yes, that's what we need. Now he has to not kill both Torkoal and Salazzle in the rest of this turn. And I think we win. Perfect. I just realized that that is the person that was the assistant professor lady. That's pretty funny. Did you guys ever notice that? Oh, you didn't do a randomizer. Okay. Alright, we killed the Scrappy. Alright. No rare candies. That's okay. We'll go ahead and give the king... Give him his rock first. The king having his rock is very important. Where's his rock? <laughs> King's rock. There we go. He has his rock. This will not help us in any way, by the way. I just really like that image in my head. Yo, level 94? How many... Uh, I have four rare candies, so I just need to get him to level 96. What do we got? Five-star Phalanx? 
I would rather do a 4 star thing, because 5 stars take a lot longer. Also, I, I put Diamond or Sapphire on there, because Emerald and... We'll do this, I guess. Uh, Emerald and Platinum added some extra content that would make the game a little bit longer, uh, and therefore a lot harder for a Nuzlocke randomizer, because the more random elements you add, the harder it can be. And I would still like to be able to actually finish it reasonably quickly. Alright, later Spencer. Hope you feel better about staying inside all day. I know that's actually really rough for you, so... Hope you feel better. Oh no, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I have my hand in the view Man, I've been doing it my whole life. Feels good, man. For sure. Me too. Alright, Sneeze is apparently not coming. he copy with copycat? Rock slide. Nobody used rock slide. How did he get rock slide? Please kill him this turn. I don't want a third turn of fighting this pseudo weirdo. Look, literally one person has to hit him. That's all I'm asking. Oh no, never mind. Y'all, I got it. No big deal. That is probably not enough <laughs> candies. There wasn't a rare candy, was there? There was a rare candy, never mind. We got enough. And there he is. The king has made it to level 100. What a good boy. He did it. He has his rock. He's ha Do you see how happy this man is? He has a ribbon. The King, the Galar Champion. Can I evolve Perk Sucks? Oh no! We accidentally released him! Instead of hitting move. What a shame. Perk Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was really fun. Uh, I had a great time doing this. So maybe we'll do another one sometime. Maybe we'll do a Quillfish run of another game. But... Uh... No! <laughs> Jonah, don't be actual sad! It was just a joke, bro! It was just a prank! Stream, don't go anywhere. This will be the end of the YouTube vlog. Thank you for watching on YouTube.